Hello friends, this video on triangles part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand one more criteria for congruency of triangles. Till now we have seen what? So we have seen AES, SAS, ESA. Okay. These three we have studied till now. Let's study one more criteria. And this criteria will be SAS. In fact, we also study RHS. Let's study SS first. So SSS is side, side, side. So if you draw two triangles with all same sides, same side is similar uh, corresponding side. For example, ABC. And it's equal to EF. So if you draw two triangles with ABC is equal to DE, BC is equal to EF, and CA is equal to DE, then you notice that these two triangles are congruent. Actually, you can overlap these two triangles on each other. You can try this activity. You can try as many triangles as possible. You will see that they will overlap. Okay. In case of right triangle, it is a little different. In case of right triangle, if you see, even if two sides are equal, the, the third side has to be equal. Why? Because we have this formula, right? P squares plus B squares equal to X square. So if any two sides, corresponding sides are equal, the third corresponding side has to be equal. So in, in case of right triangle, only if two, uh, in fact, yes, one angle has to be in a degree, that is the right triangle property. If two corresponding sides are equal, then the triangle is congruent. In case of normal triangle, three sides are, corresponding sides are equal, that means the triangle is congruent. This is activity which we have done. So you see, we'll study about these two, RHS and SSS. Okay, so let's study about SSS first. The side, side, side congruency, that means if the three sides of one triangle, you see, three sides of one triangle are equal to three sides of another triangle. So if this side equal to this side, this equal to this, and this equal to this, and these two triangles are congruent. Okay. And about RHS, as I told you, that if two sides are equal, and this angle is also equal, the so right hand right hand side this is right hand side but this RHS full form is right angle hypotenuse side or right angle H hypotenuse S side okay it says that in two right triangles the hypotenuse and one other side of the triangles, they are equal corresponding sides, then these two triangles are congruent. Okay. And but actually, if you see, even if these two sides are equal and this is 90 degree, they have to be congruent because we get suppose this is x, this is y, and this is x, this is y. This will be what? Root of x square plus y square. So this has to be equal. Correct. There is no concept of negative because the lengths are always measured in positive. So this has to be equal. So I can safely say that if two sides are equal, corresponding sides are equal, and one of the angles is 90 degree, that means the triangles are congruent. Okay, let's take some examples on this concept. AB is a line segment. P and Q are two opposite points on AB and they are equidistant from A and B. This is A, B, P A is equal to P, B and Q A is equal to Q, B. We have to prove that the line P, Q is perpendicular, we have to prove that this angle is 90 degree and perpendicular bisector of A, B that is this A, C is equal to B, C. So we have to prove A, C is equal to B, C and angle A, C, P is 90. That is what we have to do. Okay. So to prove this, we have to prove that triangle PCB and PCA, they are congruent. So if we can prove that, if we can prove triangle PCB 
We can prove that this is congruent, we are done. But if you see PC and PCB, how will you prove? So in PC and PB, P, you know that P is equal to PB, so this is fine. Okay. And uh, PC is equal to PC is a common side given, this is also fine. But how will you prove that these angle and this angle, that is B, PC and APC are same? That is difficult to prove, right? We don't have any data for this. So what we can do is we to first prove that these two angles are same. To prove this, we can actually prove that these two triangles are common. This, this, and it is E, A, C, and P, U, P. To prove that these two triangles are common, we can actually prove that these two angles are equal. And to prove these two triangles are congruent is not difficult because AP is equal to PB given, AQ is equal to BQ given. You see, PQ is equal to BQ is a common side. Thus, by SSS rule, they are common. Since they are congruent, this angle will be equal. Right? So I can say that angle 1 will be equal to angle 1 dash. Since triangle APQ is common. to triangle PBQ. Okay, this is there. And then we know that in these two triangles, AB is equal to PC. APB is equal to PA. That is given. Correct? And PC is equal to PC. Common side. So with this, I can say that these triangles are congruent. And these triangles are congruent, that means, therefore, triangle A is P. The right leg is P. P, P, B, C is congruent to triangle P, S. Therefore, what we have to prove? We have to prove that A, C is equal to B, C. We can say that A, C is equal to B, C. A, C is equal to B, C. That is one. Second, we have to prove that ACP is 90 degree. So we see that angle ACP angle ACP is equal to angle PCB. Right? So this is angle let's suppose 2 and this is angle 2 dash. Both are equal. Also we know that angle 2 plus angle 2 dash is what? 180 degree because it forms a line. So it's a linear pair. So Angle 2 is what? 90. That means this is 90, this is 90. And thus, since this is 90 degree and this bisects, so line PQ is perpendicular bisector of AB. Okay. P is a point equidistant from T, uh, two lines L and M, that is PB and PC are seen, and they intersect at point A. These two lines. We have to prove that line AP bisects the angle. So this bisects this angle. So we have to prove that this is angle 1, this is angle 2. Prove angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So let's take these two triangles now. Pretty easy angle. Let's take these two triangles. This is B, P, and A. So let's draw a corresponding line. So B becomes C because this is 90, this is 90. Okay, and this is P. Okay, so BP is equal to PC given, BP is equal to PC given, and AP is equal to AP that is common side. Now right hand side are by RHS rule, they are congruent. Since, since they are congruent, and if you see PAB, what is PAB? PAB, this is angle 1, because this is angle 1, and PAC is angle 2. Since they are congruent, I can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Since angle 1 is equal to angle 2, I can say that 
AP is angle bisector for angle BAC. And that is what I have to prove. We just have to understand the question and understand which two triangles. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.